Hello everybody, Lester here and today we are going to do a deep dive in the tokenomics of Authenticity.io. Authenticity.io is a social media that is entirely based on the blockchain. Last video I presented how the system functions, the concept of identity and backing somebody, meaning investing in a person. So you can go watch this video uh, right now if you haven't watched it. In this video, I'm going to deep dive into the tokenomics of authenticity, explaining the auth token, the different uh, elements, how it's mined, to answer the questions, should I buy or should I mine auth token? Before we start the video, a little disclaimer, I am not a financial advisor and I do hold personally auth token in my wallet. With this out of the way, Make sure that you back this video on authenticity.io and that you follow me for more videos about authenticity and the metaverse. I am Lester Fain, the world founders of the Cities of Light, a city in the metaverse. So far, most of the supply is internal, meaning it's on the OS blockchain, but eventually it's going to go into decentralized exchanges like Uniswap, and this has already started to be the case and eventually to centralized exchanges like Binance. Currently, the OATH token is trading at 8 cents of a dollar. The first thing that is important when you are analyzing a token is the allocation. The allocation is how do people get the token? So for in this case, for authenticity, most of the token, 89.8%, .8 is actually mined by participating on the authenticity platform. So it's mined by it, their, its users by posting comments, by posting images, by posting videos, depending on the amount of characters in each comment. This is how almost all of the OS tokens are minted. Then there is also 8.8% .8 of tokens reserved for newcomers, so you receive a certain number of tokens when you register on the platform. Finally, we have 1.4% allocated to the team for expenses, liquidity and so on. This launch is very close to what we call a fair launch, meaning that most of the, the tokens that will be in circulation are going to be created by the users, and this is something that is very good in a project. The total supply of auth is 1 billion auth. So eventually 1 billion auth are going to be minted by the, by the people on the platform. So in conclusion, for allocation, authenticity gets a pass. The next question that we need to ask when analyzing a token is inflation. Since tokens are minted by people, its circulating supply is going to increase over time. The question that we want to know for tokenomics is how quickly is it increasing? To answer to this, you need to understand exactly how the tokens are created. The system that they put together is per wave. They define six waves and for each of the waves you have different amounts of auth minted each time that you post. For the first, first wave, you have an average of 250 auth per post. For the wave number two, this number drops to around 180. For the wave number three, it drops by 100, etc, etc. The waves are defined by how many total auth have already been minted. Bitcoin uses the exact same system. So the first 3 million auth are part of wave 1, 10 million part of wave 2, and so on and so forth. Now the question that you might want to ask is, how quickly are we going to get to this? One way to see how quickly we'll get to this is trying to estimate how many total posts are required in order to get to the next wave. And this is what this graph here is. I want to remind you that all of those are actually estimations and it's going to depend on the average number of characters per post 
From my estimation, the second wave is going to start once we posted approximately 12,000 posts. The next wave gets us to 70,000, 335, 1 million, 7 million, 66 million, and so on. The actual time that will take to get to the different waves is going to depend on how quickly Authenticity is going to be able to get traction. From a tokenomic sense standpoint, it's the same thing. The growth of the auth supply is proportional to the usage of the platform. So at no point is there going to be a situation where we have a rampant inflation. Authenticity passes the inflation metric as well. Now I want to introduce a new metric for authenticity. The goal is to try to estimate in orders of magnitude the price that the auth token should be able to get to. The metric I want to introduce is the fair value. Fair value is a metric that is often used to talk about the price of Ethereum or the price of Bitcoin. It answered the question, how much does it cost in dollars to mine Ethereum or to mine Bitcoin? This is, for example, the fair price of Ethereum across the year in a logarithmic scale. And usually it serves as a good indication of are we overpriced because of speculation or are we actually underpriced? And if we're underpriced, this is when you see the miners actually turning down the ASICs because they're not, it's not profitable for them to mine Bitcoin or Ethereum. Auth is based on Ethereum. So we're going to take the Auth fair price as a, as a base and try to estimate how much does it cost for the users to mine Auth. So you mine Auth by paying Ethereum gas fees, right? And Having the fair price is going to answer the question, should I buy auth or should I mine auth? Which one is going to be more expensive for me? And this is why it's a very important metric because it's going to give us this baseline for the price of auth. Here is the calculation. We have the different waves and we have the different auth that we mine per post. Remember the auth that you mine per post is going to decrease over time. So this means that mining auth is going to be more and more expensive over time. So we can calculate this. Assuming an average gas price of $10 per post, which might fluctuate a lot, but we're taking averages here. So assuming an average gas of $10 per post, this is the fair value that we get over time. So in phase one, you'll get the fair value is 4 cents. In phase two, it climbs to 6 cents. In phase three to nine, 18, 33, all the way to almost $1. Currently, the OS token is trading on Uniswap at 8 cents, as we discussed. This corresponds to a fair value of phase three. Here is a graph of the fair value of OS for the total number of posts, so each phase. Rem get, bear in mind that both are logarithmic scales on both axes. As soon as we get over 12,800 posts, then the fair price is going to increase to 6 cents, and to 9, and to 18, and so on and so forth. So this indicator serves as the base reference. Of course, there is way more than that that goes into pricing an asset. You have all the speculation, the growth, the expectation of future growth. And so one last thing to take into account is the dynamics of supply and demand. At the moment, the demand size is only driven by speculative forces because there is no way to unclaim auth to put it back into the platform. This is a feature that is going to come very soon, but until then, the price is purely speculative. Once you can re-inject, then people are going to be able to buy auth to back people on the platform or do other activities like liquidity providers and so on. From there, there is a new system of how much you think you're going to get back from backing people. 
if you think that you're going to be able to back the right people, then you'll be more willing to pay more for auth. Lastly, the price is also going to depend on the actual value created by the users on the platform. Also, of course, auth is based on Ethereum, which is correlated to the price of Bitcoin, which is correlated to the price of stocks, which is correlated to the economy. So you're going to see, like every other cryptocurrency, bull runs and bear phases. One last angle that we can take is to take the top-down angle. The total supply of auth is 1 billion. It means that if we want to get to a price tag of $1, we need to get to a market capitalization of 1 billion. A market capitalization of 1 billion would place it at top 50 in the crypto projects, which is the spot the project Zcash is holding at the moment. So here it is. I hope that you'll find this video interesting to help you make choices about Earth. And don't forget to back and follow Lester Paint the World and Cities of Light. And we'll see you soon. Have a nice day.